For the second game in a row, it's a London derby for Crystal Palace's under-18s. Royal Quinn's side face a tough test against top of the table Chelsea. However, confidence is high after that 3-2 win over Arsenal last time out. The players expecting another hotly contested game today. Palace looking to build an attack. Firm challenge in there. Chelsea, though, able to come away with the ball. Ball slips into the channel. Palace a little bit stretched here. Chelsea into the penalty area. It's a decent ball across. And they do eventually bury it in the bottom corner. Castle Dean puts the ball in the back of the net. Seven minutes into the game. And Palace find themselves behind. Rob Quinn's side looking for an instant response. They've lost out there, though. And once again, it's Chelsea on the counter going through the gears here. Up towards the edge of the penalty area. Oh, that's a lovely goal. Keeper well beaten, couldn't do much with it. Tudor Mendel Idowu with it. And Chelsea find themselves celebrating down in that corner once again. Work to do here for Palace. In comes the corner. Smashed clear. Bit of a coming together there in the centre circle. Play will go on though. That's a direct ball and it's caught Chelsea out here. Chance for Palace to get back into the game. Has he taken too long? No. Buried in the end, Adamona Ole Adibomi. Out of nothing, Palace find themselves back in this one. Searching ball over the top. Adibomi was onto it, took it around the keeper, composed stuff in the end. He was under pressure by the defenders. Game on then here. Foul given. Chelsea not hanging around. And they're attacking down that side of the pitch once again on the far side. Ball slips into the penalty area. It's a nice move here by Chelsea and it's a nice finish as well. Two goal advantage restored. Anderson with the goal right on the stroke of half time. And that's hard to take for Palace having just got themselves back into the game. Excellent tackle there. Palace able to bring the ball forward, but it just breaks down. Chelsea's turn to attack. Chelsea, top of the table. Showing their quality at the moment as they look to build their way forward. That's a good foot in. And break could be on here. Akamwale is inside him, making his way into the penalty area. Ball slipped to the edge. And there's the cross. Real chance this for Palace. Squared, puts on a plate. And Akinwale tucks it away, helps himself to a goal. And Chelsea's lead is cut once again. It's 3-2. Unselfish play here. Squared the ball, and there was number nine, Victor Akinwale. We found confidence here by Palace. Ball in behind, keepers a bit uncertain, and that's a clear penalty. And remarkably, Palace might be able to pull themselves level here. The booking as well for the Chelsea goalkeeper. And having won the penalty, Victor Akinwale is going to get a chance to pull his side level, and he takes that chance. Calmly done. Oh, the referee's given a foul there. Hard to see what the Palace man could have done, really. It's just as his leg comes down. 
after winning the ball. Chance here for Chelsea. Ball swung in. Oh, it's a little bit uncomfortable for Palace. It's very uncomfortable for Palace. Mother Silk has stolen the points for Chelsea at the death, has he? In the 96th minute. So cruel on Crystal Palace. Is there going to be one final moment, one final push? No, there isn't. Well, defeat for Rob Quinn's side as seven goals are shared. They did so well to bring themselves back into the game. But in the end, they go home pointless. It ends here. Palace three, Chelsea four.